This video demonstrates question two of sample exam one. You can download the question as a Word file from Blackboard. For question two, we're using a actual data from Netflix. So back in 2006, Netflix published a anomalized movie rating data set as part of a competition. So the winner actually won a million dollars for coming up with a algorithm that predicts the movie rating the most accurately. The actual data is much larger than this. So I'm just using a subset of the data. And as you can see that the data contains user IDs in column A. And here I only selected a subset of movie IDs. So we have like 32 movies and a few thousand users. You can see the user IDs are laid out here. All right. So the first question, A, histogram. Insert a histogram for the ratings of movie ID 5317. So the movie ID 5317. Let's highlight this. And you are asked to create a histogram for the rating distribution of this movie. So now select the first cell of the movie. Because there are empty cells here, if you do control shift down, it's going to get stopped by these empty cells. So you can't really do that. So the way to select this whole column is first to select the first one and then pull the sheet all the way down. We know we are in column J and then hold the shift button and left click on the last cell of this column you want to select. So now you have selected the whole column and go to insert and select the chart, all charts, histogram and click OK. So now we have created a histogram. Label the axis and give the chart an appropriate name. So add chart element, access title, primary horizontal, access title, primary vertical. So the horizontal axis is rating and vertical is number of users. And the chart title is histogram of readings for movie 5317. So next, move this chart as instructed. So right click on top of the chart and select move chart. And currently it's an object in the sheet Netflix. We're going to move this to a new sheet. Left click on new sheet. And let's call this histogram and click OK. So now we have moved the chart out of the way from the data sheet. Next is to use the collaborative filtering method we have discussed in class to predict the specified user's rating of the specified movie. See the first rows in the sheet. So we already have the user ID of 7620 and the movie ID of 571. So 7620 highlighted and a movie ID 571. So we are trying to predict the rating for this movie. So to prepare for this, first we calculate the means. So the mean for each user equals average of the user's ratings and enter and copy this all the way down by double clicking and shrink the number of digits, making this easier to read. And then drag the mouse to see all the way down the sheet and calculate another mean for each column. To do this calculation, we have equals average parenthesis, select the last one and then move the sheet all the way up and then hold down shift to select the first one in this column and then close the parenthesis and enter. Now we have the average rating or the mean rating of 
each one of these movies. All right. So to do the, remember to do the collector filtering, we need to calculate the distance of each movie to the focal movie 571. Okay, let me copy these movie IDs in order to calculate the distance and then the similarity. So now I have all the movie IDs to calculate the distance. Now we are going to calculate every movie's distance to 571. For convenience, let me start from the second movie because this will show it more clearly. Equals, and the distance is simply the rating of this movie here in C7 minus the rating of 571. And again, we want to make this formula copyable, so we need to lock down the column. So tap F4 key three times, one, two, three. It's going to lock down the column. And then we want to square this. So put a parenthesis around this, and then use the small arrow here and a two. So that gives us the square of the difference. And enter. So we have talked about this in the earlier example on collaborative filtering. The problem with this is Excel would treat empty cell as zero, so, but you don't want to calculate anything with empty cell. So we have to add an if around this. So equals, so now we need to edit this to add an if. The if has two conditions. We need both cell to be larger than zero. So and parenthesis C seven larger than zero comma dollar b seven larger than zero and close the parenthesis comma so if both are larger than zero we we'll calculate this if not we're going to use quotes the minus sign quote and then close the parenthesis we don't calculate it and then enter okay now we're going to copy this so first to drag this to the left, as expected, this is zero. And now we can copy this all the way to all the other movies for the first customer. Okay, so now we have calculated the first row. And if we double click here on the lower right corner in this whole area, it's gonna copy this to all the, the whole area, okay? And uh, now let's scroll down. And then the next thing we calculate our first distance and then second similarity. So the distance is simply the sum of all the different squares we have calculated. So it goes sum and select the last one, control shift up, and then don't select the movie ID. So Again, press only shift and then use the down button. Now you're going to select from row 7 to row 6447 and then close the parentheses and then enter. So the movie's distance to itself is zero, which is exactly what we want. And then next, the similarity is simply one divided by parenthesis, one plus the square root, SQRT, of the distance. And then close the parenthesis, close the parenthesis, and enter. So this is something we have talked about. The distance of a movie to itself is zero, and the similarity is one. So now select both these cells and drag this to copy these two around to all the other columns. Now we have calculated all the similarities. We can go ahead to make the predictions of the rating. So for the adjusted rating, we are going to adjust all the rating for the focal customer by deducting the customer's average rating. So equals 
again we're going to use a if here just in case there's if there's no rating we don't do this adjustment so this is b20 if b20 is larger than zero then we're going to use the value rating value in b20 minus the mean rating of this customer so it's in row 20 here so minus ah20 we want to lock ah so f4 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 and then if there's no value in b20 we simply give it nothing quote minus quote and close the parenthesis enter and now copy this over to all the other ratings and next we do the adjusted similarity again we need to get rid of the similarities where there's no rating so if b20 is larger than zero then we are going to put in the similarity and otherwise we'll put in nothing and again copy this all the way so now we have everything we need next we just need to calculate the adjustment based on the adjusted rating and the similarity it's equal to sum product parenthesis of the adjusted similarity it's going to multiply into the adjusted rating and sum up so that's sum product and close this and divided by the sum of all the similarities here and then close this enter and the adjustment is tiny so to do the final prediction we're going to use the average rating of this user if you can row up it's actually here for this user and then it's in cell age 20 and it will be that average rating plus the adjusted rating and then enter so the final prediction of this user's rating of that movie is 3.77 finally it asks you to use VLOOKUP and the information in the sheet movie titles so this has movie IDs and movie titles and the sheet movie titles to find out the title of the movie rating that you have predicted so it will be equal to VLOOKUP we're going to look for this movie ID comma in these movie titles so we're going to select the whole range from the first movie to the last movie and then control shift right and control shift down and comma and the column that we need this is the third column so it's column three and the final parameter is we want the exact match so it'll be false and then close the parenthesis and enter so our prediction is for customer 7620 and the movie we are predicting is american beauty that finishes question two